There we go. What's up, sons? It's Blackguard with Simon Tech once again, and today we're going to be going over the best GPUs to purchase for mining Ethereum. Specifically, though, we are going to be looking at this from the perspective of how much you should pay for them to pay them off within the next 90 days based on the current difficulty of the Ethereum network, along with, of course, the projected revenue and the hash rate to power consumption and what that cost is going to be. We'll go over more details, of course, right after we talk about about Rocket Chat. Rocket Chat is our privately hosted chat solution to getting rid of spamming and botting and all of that nastiness that goes on in the crypto community. If you hit the join button down below, you can register for $1.99 and then cancel that membership if you like. But this is the best way that I found to block, of course, bots. It's an easy way around it. Plus you support the channel, which I thank you very much for. All the support lately has been incredible. Be sure to join the Rocket Chat if you want to talk to real people that are into cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency mining without having to navigate all of the craziness that is Discord and Twitter and so on and getting spammed and maybe scammed in a lot of cases. Without further ado though, let's talk about the GPUs. We're gonna be taking a look at the Radeon 5000 series, the Radeon 6000 series, and the Nvidia 3000 series. We may be phasing out the 5000 series at some point. You can kind of get them on the used market, but here's the deal. The reason we're focused on newer GPUs is because with newer GPUs, a, you're going to have a higher resale value and B, you are still able to get on like various lists to purchase them from retailers at retail prices without going through like, you know, a, a, an eBay or something along those lines. It's a, it's difficult. Yes but it is possible. I was able to pick four up last week and there is another shipment coming in here soon. And if you guys want a talking head video on my buying strategies for GPUs as a home miner, let me know in the comment section below and we can kind of go over that. But let's hop into it. First and foremost, we're gonna go through these in basically the order of what I would consider worst to best, right? So there are two graphics cards right now that you probably shouldn't buy at all. And the reasoning for this is because their cost is already higher than what you would be able to purchase and pay off within 90 days. These two cards are going to be the RTX 3090 and the RX 6900 XT. To give you specifics on these though, the RTX 3090 is 120 mega hash at 300 watts, which puts it out to about a 0.4 hash per watt. And that's not necessarily terrible, but if you're gonna pay something like, I don't know, 1500 to $2,000 and the new retail form honestly is around two grand. It just doesn't make sense. So at this power level right now, along with of course the current difficulty of Ethereum, as well as the current price of Ethereum, that would be a $13 and 75 a day profit after power for the 3090. However, and power to clarify is going to be based on the average of 12 cents per kilowatt hour right now that's what i went with because we're talking about home mining right so with those numbers plugged in for the rtx 3090 you would need to purchase one at 1238 dollars or less to pay it off in the next 90 days in the case of the rx 6900 xt it doesn't get much better in fact it gets much worse currently the 6900 xt does about 64 mega hash a second and that is going to be at 64 mega hash a second at 140 watts 130 to 140 with the option of of course modding it we are still working on that with soft power play tables but it's really kind of a moot point here moot but seven dollars and 36 cents a day after power for this particular card the most you should be paying for it is 662 dollars to pay it off within the next 90 days and of course well they run between a thousand and fourteen hundred dollars coming in more around 15 the fifteen hundred dollar price mark at retail right now 
So just, it doesn't make sense. Things get better though when we go down to the RX 6800 and the RX 6800 XT. They both pretty much perform exactly the same mining Ethereum. And for these two cards, they actually don't come out awful, right? So both the cards are going to be around 60 to 63 mega hash a second, and they will take 105 watts with the soft power play tables. And that will net you $6.98 a day after power. And if you wanted to pay that card off in 90 days, it would be $628 would be the price that you would want to pay for either one of these cards. And that's actually viable and something that you can do at retail with the RX 6800. Not so much the 6800 XT. The third party boards on the 6800 XT are kind of crossing that line. So you're going to be looking for the 6800s if they ever become available again as well. So the two old classics that we talked about before, uh, we're going to save till the end because they are two of the best. Let's go over the RTX 3080, which sits in right at around the spot where it's questionable. So the RTX 3080 will be at about 98 mega hash a second with 240 watts. And that is going to be of course a 0.4 hash per watt once again, similar to the 3090. However, it is cheaper and that will net you about $11 and two cents a day after power and that will mean that in 90 days you would be able to pay it off if you paid 992 dollars or less this is achievable on this card with the retail options and and trying to wait and getting on list form like i said that's kind of the idea here so really you don't want to be paying more than 992 dollars if you want to pay it off within the next 90 days. Next, we have the RTX 3070, which is basically exactly like the RTX 3060 Ti, except it costs more. And so really at this point where that comes in, right, is gonna be 63 mega hash a second at around 140 watts, giving it a hash to power ratio of 0.4 hash per watt. And that's pretty good. Like we're getting there, we're getting closer, right? That would net you about $6.92 a day. And so to essentially pay that off within 90 days, it is going to be around $623 that you would want to pay for it max. Unfortunately, these cards really at retail are coming in at about $699 now, and that's with the elevated retail. These are what I'm prices I'm seeing on Newegg when they're releasing new stock, Altex, Best Buy, so on and so forth. They all seem to be around $699 or more. So it might not be a viable option, but of course, you get what you get you don't throw a fit that one's it you know that one's questionable let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section so the top three cards right now that you want to be looking for is going to be the rtx 3060 ti the rx 5700 xt and the rx 5600 xt first in third place comes the rtx 3060 ti i know everybody's favorite new mining card but i've done the numbers i've done the numbers all right so here we go with the 3060 ti you're at 60 to 63 mega hash a second at around 130 watts that gives you a 0.5 hash per watt on this particular card and it earns exactly the same amount as the 3070 meaning you would not want to pay more than 623 dollars to be able to pay it off within the next 90 days the two top cards right now that if you can get them you're going to be sitting pretty is going to be the Radeon 5000 series. The RX 5700 XT is going to net you about, well, and this is crazy too, because you got to keep in mind memory differences, Samsung versus Micron. We calculated with Micron, so you don't have to worry about it. If you get a Samsung card though, then you are just rolling in the money, I guess, right? So we calculate it at the 56 mega hash a second with micron memory, that's going to be 110 watts. And yes, we have the video on Samsung memory running like 80 watts. All of mine are right now too on Hive OS. <gasps> oh, the glory. But that aside, 
with the worst case scenario on the 5700 XT, that is a 0.5 hash per watt. And that is going to be around $6.36 a day, right? And the max you would wanna pay for one right now would be $572 if you wanted to be able to pay it off within the next 90 days. Finally, the king of the hill. Now, a lot of this is thanks to Team Redminer and their latest release too, by the way. You can't, uh, you can't put it any other way, really. These numbers were a little bit different, a little bit different before this. But the 5600 XT with Micron memory, and I haven't been able to test Samsung, is going to be 43 mega hash a second at, wait for it, 55 watts. <laughs> Oh, we have the full BIOS mod and all the settings if you need to get this configured, of course, on this channel. So just go take a look. But that gives it a hash to power ratio of 0.78, beating out the Samsung 5700 XT by 0.08 hash per watt. What does that equal out to? Right now, at the current cost and difficulty level of mining Ethereum, that is $5.05 .05 a day after power and that will be paid off in 90 days if you spend no more than 454 dollars and yes newegg is still getting stock of these things i just got one this week and it's amazing that they're still coming out and they're on there for about 330 and the worst one was about 370 on newegg these are by far the best deal that you're going to find for mining Ethereum right now, the RX 5600 XT. Make sure you use Team Red Miner, all right? So that's going to wrap it up. These are basically, I guess this is really was more of an Ethereum mining guide, huh? What to buy guide, because we even covered the crappy ones. But the best cards to go back over that is going to be the RX 5600 XT in first place with the 5700 XT coming in second place and the RTX 3060 Ti coming in third place. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.